Shout out to Squarespace for sponsoring this video. Hello everyone! And in this week's video, I'm creating a dating simulator because I am single on Valentine's Day. When I am posting this video, it is the day before Valentine's Day, so I guess I still have time to not be single, but I doubt a date is going to drop out of the sky within the next 24 hours. So because I have no hope of finding a Valentine, how about we make one? <laughs> it sounds weird, but also kind of fun, so let's jump into it. A few months back, I was looking into visual novels and if there were any easy, no-coding ways to make them. I ended up finding this free app called Kocho. They aren't sponsoring this video, Squarespace is, uh, but we'll talk about them later. <laughs> Anyways, Kocho lets you make visual novels without needing to know any coding, which is really nice because I know very little about coding. The only coding I've done is making a Minecraft mod, and even then, I had a lot of help with that. <laughs> if you've never played a dating simulator or a visual novel type game, basically they are a story based game where you can make different choices. Your choices can affect the story and how characters react or treat you. I've never actually played one of these games. The closest thing I've played are games like Harvest Moon, Story of Seasons, and Stardew Valley. They have different marriage candidates and there are heart events where you pick what you want to say or do. And depending on what you pick, your relationship with the character will increase or decrease. So that is basically what I'm going to create today. Also, please don't expect anything amazing. <laughs> this will be a super short and simple game. Nothing fantastic. Uh, because I've never done this before. I'm kind of just learning and trying new things. Uh, so yeah. So to start out, I wrote my script. It's a pretty simple story. The player is alone on Valentine's Day and the player's roommate offers to set them up on a blind date with one of her boyfriend's friends. Like I mentioned before, what the player chooses can change how characters react. So I need to write out different responses based on what the player picks. I color coded my script to help me keep track of everything. After writing my script, I start working on the art for the dates or date. I was going to have there be two date options. The first one is the one you are seeing now. He is really nice and sociable. The second candidate was basically going to be the opposite. Sadly, I didn't have enough time to add the second candidate. This all took a bit longer than I anticipated. When I was creating the art for this character, I wanted it to be easy to modify. I'm going to use this one drawing to make a bunch of different facial expressions. That way the character can react to the player's choices. So I made sure to keep things separate on different layers. Things like the mouth and the eyebrows. I also made it so the irises can be moved around freely so I don't need to redraw them. I did this by placing all the other layers except for the whites of the eyes above the iris layer. I also make things like blush and sweat be on their own layers that I can turn on and off. So I start making a bunch of different expressions and saving them as their own PNG file. Also, learn from my mistakes. <laughs> you should have where you want your character to be cut off be at the bottom of your canvas. I had him rounded off like this because I thought I'd be able to move the character up and down in Kocho. So this area would be hidden, but it turns out I can only move the character side to side. So I had to change all of the files to have it be cut off at the bottom. So now that the character is done, let's go over to Kocho and start creating our story. Also, I had recorded the start of the process with my camera, but then I remembered the iPad has a screen recorder, so I had to re-record the beginning part of the process to show you what I did. Uh, so yeah. Anyways, this is Kocho. To make my own game file, I click on Workshop. Then I click on this blue plus button to add my novel. Then I need to name it. I'm going to go with something super simple and not very creative. <laughs> I tap on my file and it'll take me to this area where we will create the story. I start by adding a new chapter by pressing the blue plus button and I'll name this prologue. This will be where the main character is at home complaining about being single and all that stuff. I click on the chapter and add the first scene. I tap the scene to start editing it. I can add many new things to the scene by pressing the blue button. We can do things like add choices, change scenery, and so on. I need to add a background, so I click on change scenery. I don't feel like drawing a bunch of backgrounds, so I'm going to use free ones from Ibis Paint and Clip Studio Paint. Like I mentioned, this isn't a super serious game, and it's mostly for learning purposes. Uh, so yeah, I'm going to take some shortcuts. 
Also, the game screen size seems to be 1920 by 1080, so that is the resolution you should make the backgrounds. So I added in my background and named it. Now it's time to add dialogue. So I click on the add text button. In this area, I need to make a new character so we know who is talking. And I'll call this character me. It's not me literally, but it's the player. Now the box has this little box in the corner that tells us who's talking. I proceed to type my dialogue into the box. Later in the process, I figured out how to have my script and Kocha open at the same time. So I was able to paste in my text from my script instead of needing to type it in. Not all devices are able to do this. My iPad and my new phone can have two apps open at once, but my old phone wasn't able to do this. Uh, so you'll have to see what your device is able to do. Also, you can change how the text boxes look by going to the main area and then clicking on GUI. I change the boxes to how I want them to look. I change the colors and make them rounded because I think it looks kind of cute. If you want, you can even add your own custom text boxes so they look on theme with your game. Uh, I think that's really neat. So I continue to add the dialogue for the roommate and the player. Also, I realized that when the roommate is telling the player about the date that I didn't name him yet. So I looked up a top 100 boy name list and Liam was at the top. So I went with that. He looks like he could be a Liam. <laughs> I also wanted to have him be studying something at like a college or university. Uh, so I used a random generator and I got film director. Uh, so I guess he's into movie making and stuff. Uh, so now we are at the point where the character needs to make the first decision. Do they go on the date or do they not go on the date? So to add a choice, I click on the add choices button. Choice one will be go on the date with Liam. To make the game know which choice the player picks, we need to add things called variables. I name this variable yes and set it to plus one. The second choice is don't go on the date with Liam. Once again, it needs a variable. I name this one no and set it to plus one. So basically when the player chooses to go on the date, it'll make the yes variable increase by one point. If the player chooses to not go on the date, the no variable will increase by one point. So if the player says yes, the roommate will get excited and call Liam. I don't want this dialogue to play if the player chooses to not go on the date. So I need to set a condition. To add a condition, I click on the three dots and then click on conditions. The condition for this dialogue to play will be variable yes needs to equal one point. If the player chooses the no option, the roommate will be kind of bummed. I only want the bummed dialogue to play if the player chooses to not go on the date. So I make the condition for this dialogue to be for variable no to be equal to one point. I basically had to do the same process whenever there was a choice for the player to make. I ended up having a lot of different variables like choice one good and choice one bad and so on. I'm not sure if there is a more effective way to go about doing this, but this is the way that worked for me. There are some choices that don't change anything, so they don't need conditions. Like Liam will ask the player if they have been on a blind date before. And Liam will give the same dialogue no matter which one the player chooses, so I don't have to set any conditions for that. So after finishing the prologue, I need to make the date portion of the game. So I made a new chapter called Date. The game will only play this chapter if the variable yes equals 1. So if the player says no, this chapter won't play and the game will just end. Liam will be appearing, so I need to add him into the game. I go to the character section and click the blue button to add a character. I name the character Liam. To add Liam's art into the game, I click this button and then add expression. I name it happy and then click this button again to find the art of him in my files. I repeat this process for all of his expressions. So to add Liam into our scene, I click on change characters and select Liam. And I also pick what expression he is making. Now he is in the scene. Also for most of these, I turn fading in and out off, especially if Liam is only changing expressions because it looks weird if he fades in and out even though he's just changing his facial expression. <laughs> Also, when I don't want Liam to appear on screen, I change the character to me. Since the me character has no art, it won't display anything. 
I basically just keep repeating the process of adding dialogue, changing characters, changing scenes, and adding choices. One last thing I do want to mention is that there is a good ending and a bad ending. There are four choices the player can make on the date. Each time the player makes the correct choice, the variable HP will go up by one point. To get the good ending, the player needs to have three or more HP points. So for the choices, they have the variables I mentioned earlier, like choice one good and choice one bad, but I also add the HP variable to the good choices, so the game can keep track of how many good choices the player makes. So yeah, we have the good ending and the bad ending. The good ending will play if the player has an HP point value equal to or greater than 3. The bad ending will play if the player has an HP point value that is less than 3. Also, to make the good ending kind of special, I added this bonus illustration that the player gets to see. You don't get to see it for the bad ending. So it's kind of like a little reward in a way. So after finishing the story, I customized the home screen. I made this super simple background for it. Oh, also, lastly, I added music by clicking on the Add BGM button. I used music from the YouTube audio library. I made sure to use music that doesn't require me to give credit so there aren't any copyright issues. I think it's okay for me to use them in the game. Uh, when I was looking at the rules, it says you can use it for different projects. Uh, so I think it's okay, especially since it's a free game and I'm not charging money for it. Now that the game is done, we will take a look at it. I do want to mention that if you want to play the game for yourself, here is how you can. 1. Get the Kocho app. It is available on iOS and Android. Uh, 2. Download the game. I uploaded my game file to Google Drive so you can download it from there. 3. Once your file is on your device, open Kocho and click on the Add Novel button. Go through your files and find the game file to open. Then it'll be added to your library. I'm kind of sad I forgot to give it an icon, uh, but yeah, this is how you can play the game for yourself if you want to. Anyways, now let's take a look at the finished result.
So yeah, that's my little dating simulator. It was a lot of fun to make and experiment with. If this is something you'd like to see me do more of, you can let me know. Thank you all so much for watching, and I hope you all have a nice Valentine's Day, even if you're single. On Valentine's Day, I often try to focus on the people I have in my life that I love. Speaking of awesome people I have in my life, thank you so much to my awesome patrons for helping support this channel. It means so much to me. And thank you to Squarespace for sponsoring this video. We will end this video with a thank you to Squarespace. I'll see you all next week. Bye! Thank you so much to Squarespace for sponsoring this video. Squarespace gives people a powerful and beautiful online platform from which to create your own website. Present your work using Squarespace's professional portfolio designs. Display projects in customizable galleries. Connect with your audience and generate revenue through gated members-only content. Manage your members, send email communications, and leverage audience insights all on one easy-to-use platform. Go to squarespace.com for a free trial, and when you're ready to launch, go to squarespace.com slash love to draw manga to save 10% off your first purchase of a website or domain. I used Squarespace to create my website, and I highly recommend it. So try creating your website for free today!